Hey, what's up guys? It is me, Chachi Onyx, and I am here with another video. Uh, this video will be about tomorrow's fights. It is currently 6.12 p.m. for me right now, uh, May 20th, 2022. The fights are happening tomorrow, May 21st, 2022. So it will be headlined in the bantamweight division between Holly Holm versus Kevin Vieta. Uh, Holly Holm is number two in the bantamweight division. And uh, Ketlin Vieta is number five in the bantamweight division, in the women's bantamweight division at 135 pounds. Uh, before I brush into um, this weekend's fights, I want to talk a little bit about last week's fights, just very briefly. Uh, I ended with a record of six and five. I didn't start out so great. I started out very poorly, actually. I started one and five, one win and five losses uh, to begin the card. But I managed to get the last five fights correct to give me a six and five record. So, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, that is pretty cool. Um, that is just a little uh, tidbit that I wanted to leave about last weekend, uh, about last weekend's fights between uh, Jan Blachowicz and Alexander Rakic. Uh, don't want to talk about too much about that. I could even make a separate video about post thoughts about it. But this video is about um, the fight card um, headlined by Holly Holm and Ketlin Vieta. So let's just dive right into it. So there are 11 fights, just like last weekend. Um, and these fights are, are pr they're, they're pretty decent. Last weekend's fights I thought were more exciting. But this weekend's fights, I mean, it's, it's kind of like... A card like this is can be it may seem underrated, and these and, and an, an underrated card can be very exciting. So I don't want to waste too much time. Let's go into the overview. So the prelims begin at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on ESPN Plus, and the main card begins at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on ESPN Plus. So let's just dive right into it. Let's just go into the overview and then let's make our predictions. I kind of looked into it a little bit, but I just want to have fun with this and just go a little bit cold turkey about who I think um, who I think is going to win. So let's move on. Let's move right on with it. In the women's strawweight division, at in a women's we have a women's strawweight bout at 115 pounds between Elise Reed versus Sam Hughes. We have a featherweight bout at 145 pounds between Chase Hooper and Felipe Colares. We then have a bantamweight bout at 135 pounds between Jonathan Martinez and Vince Morales. We then have a lightweight bout at 155 pounds between Omar Morales and Yudosh Medic. We then have a heavyweight bout at the heavyweight maximum of 266 pounds between Jailton Almeida and Parker Porter. And then the prelims will be the prelim feature, basically the prelim headliner will be in the middleweight division at 185 pounds between Joseph Holmes and Alan Amedovsky. We then move to the main card. Um, we we go to the middleweight. We have a middleweight bout at 185 pounds between Eric Anders and Jun Young Park. We then have a women's strawweight bout at 115 pounds between Pollyanna Vienna and Tabitha Ritchie. We then have a middleweight bout at 185 pounds between Chidi and Jokowani and Dusku Todorovic. We then have a welterweight bout <laughs> between Santiago Ponzinibbio and Michelle Pajeda. And then it is headlined, we have a women's bantamweight bout at 135 pounds between Holly Holm and Kevin Vieta. I did, the, the one thing I did not look into were the weigh-ins. So uh, that is the one thing I want to look at really quick. See who made weight, who missed weight. We're gonna go with MMA fighting, very reliable source. Um, so far, it looks like everybody made weight. Um, yeah, everybody made weight. There is a big weight discrepancy between Jailton Almeida and Parker Porter because Jailton Almeida is moving up from light heavyweight to heavyweight. I don't think it's a permanent change. I think it was just because he wanted to get in the fight. So that is what is going on. He um, he's at he's he weighs two hundred twenty four pounds, and Parker Porter is at two sixty five. So there's that big weight discrepancy, but we'll see how it goes. I think if it goes to the ground and Parker Porter's on top, 
That's going to be very exhausting for Jonathan Almeida because he's going to have to, you know, get up and all that stuff. But other than that, yeah, everybody made weight pretty good, pretty solid. So let's just move on with our predictions. With our, and by our, I mean my predictions. Um, not even getting to the tab where I have the fights. <laughs> all right, so between Elise Reed and Sam Hughes, I'm picking Elise Reed. Between Felipe Diaz Colares and Chase Hooper, I'm picking Chase Hooper. Between Jonathan Martinez and Vince Morales, I will select Jonathan Martinez. Between Omar Morales and Yudoch Medic, I'm part Venezuelan and Omar Morales is Venezuelan. And I want to root for Omar Morales, but the way he has looked in his, pre in the, in his previous few fights, especially in his previous two fights, it makes it difficult for me to pick him. So I'm going to pick Yudoch Medic. Between Jailton Almeida and Parker Porter, you know what? I'm going to pick Jailton Almeida. Between Joseph Holmes and Alan Amidovsky, I'm going to pick Joseph Holmes. Between Eric Anders and Jun Young Park, I want to pick Eric Anders, but I'm going to just pick Jun Young Park. That's probably going to come to bite me, but we'll, find, we'll see. Between Pollyanna Vienna and Tabitha Ritchie, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, man, that one's tough. I'm going to go with Pollyanna Vienna because she has more experience. Between Chidi and Jokowani and, and Dusky Todorovic, this one is an easy pick for me. Chidi and Jokowani. This is this is pretty easy. Santiago Ponzinibbio and Michelle Pajeda. I don't we don't I don't know which Santiago Ponzinibbio we're gonna get. Um, are we gonna get the Santiago Ponzinibbio who was on his win streak and just tearing it up and just doing his thing, you know, before he got injured and was on his layoff for a few years? Uh, I don't know. Michelle Pajeda is very creative. He's on a win streak right now. Um, so it's uh, it's tough. But you know what? I'm going to go with the creative Michelle Pajeda. This may come to bite me, and that's okay because these predictions are for fun. And then in the main event between Holly Holm and Ketlin Vieira, I'm going to select Ketlin Vieira. Vie Vie Vieira, however you, how, however you want to say it, okay? That's how I'm saying it. So I like Holly Holm. She's great. She's fantastic. But I just, I don't know. I'm leaning towards Ketlin Vieira. So I'm going to give the overview of my uh, of who I have selected for the fights. Elise Reed, Chase Hooper, Jonathan Martinez, Yudosh Medic, Jalatan Almeida, Joseph Holmes, um, John Young Park. I think I picked John Young Park. Uh, Pollyanna Vienna. Chidi and Jokowani, Michelle Pajeda, and Kellen Vieira. The fighter that I'm most confident that I have selected of all of the fighters I have selected is Chidi and Jokowani. Um, very reliable. I like his fighting style and all that stuff. He's, he's very fun to watch. Um, so I think the fights that may come back to bite me are is the Omar Morales fight, Eric Anders, and the Santiago Ponzinibbio fight. Because I pick Udoj Medic, John Young Park, and Michelle Pajeda. So we'll see how I do on those ones that I think that may come to bite me. Uh, we'll see though. Um, and again, there, um, before I say what I'm going to say, there are 11 fights tomorrow. Uh, again, I'm just predicting just for fun. If I do poorly, if I do well, um, we'll see. I, it is what it is. Uh, as long as I get the main event correct, I will be happy. <laughs> now, even if I get it wrong, I don't care. But I want to do well. But either way, these predictions are just for fun. Um, so if you are going to, if you are betting and you are going to bet on the people I have selected, and I will say this every single video, make sure you are confident that the fighters that I have selected, that you are confident that they are going to win. If you don't think they are going to win, then pick the opposite fighter or whatever, right? So totally up to you guys. Um, if you are betting in that circumstance. So that is it. We'll see how I do tomorrow. Um, these fights should be fun. There are a lot of marquee matchups that I'm looking forward to. Actually, these fights are fantastic now that I'm reading them off and looking at them and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is, um, this is um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be great. I'm kind of dragging on a little bit because I want to get to 10 minutes. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow's fights will be... Uh, on ESPN Plus, if you're going to watch them, if you have ESPN Plus, 
And yeah, so we'll see how I do tomorrow. Hopefully I do well. We'll see. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Peace out, guys.